Take, a podcast where you can hear my take on everything, love, hate, relationships, family, and today's issues with a godly perspective. I'm your host, Sheila Dunbar. Thank you for joining me. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Sheila's Take. This special episode of Sheila's Take, uh, we have a remarkable guest who wears many hats, each one brimming with wisdom and expertise. Please welcome Stephen Thompson, a multifaceted individual who can rightfully be described as a best-selling author, a thought leader, an entrepreneur, a mental health advocate, business consultant, and a life coach. With an impressive repertoire of accomplishments, Stephen has become a beacon for those seeking guidance and transformation in their personal and professional lives. His insights on mental health, entrepreneurship, and personal growth has helped countless individuals overcome challenges and achieve their goals. So join me today in welcoming Stephen Thompson on Sheila State. Thank Welcome, you. Stephen. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, again, I, I, I just wanted to thank you for uh, taking part of my second season. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, can you tell, tell us a little, about, a little bit about your journey as a best-selling author and how it ties to your work as a thought leader and entrepreneur? Oh, well, um, thank you for asking. Um, so I started uh, writing in school um advocate writer you know i started with raps and stuff like that mm -hmm. right but um mm -hmm. what brought me to my my best-selling book uh it's entitled my angry heart a simple guy to healing from within um that book was from my childhood trauma and so i started to dive into myself mm -hmm. and um I had bad relationships, bad communication skills, things like that. So I decided um, to start doing a little self-help work. And that's how I came up with the book. So um, it's basically helped me uh, deal with issues um, that arrive from the heart, basically anger um, that I'm focusing on because um, you hear a lot of people talk about um uh, the operating system and how the thoughts uh, turn into things, mm -hmm. right? So my thing was, where do these thoughts arrive from? And so um, I was in church one day, mm -hmm. and uh, the pastor had a really moving sermon, and uh, he was talking about the purity of your heart. And I said, hmm, right? So thinking back to all my relationships and, and all the trouble and and little things I was getting into, I just uh, looked inside of myself. And so, um, you know, pureness of heart, pureness yeah. of thought, well, which should give you a better life, better actions. So that's pretty much how I came up with the book. And um, that allowed me to help others. Um, uh, so we have a little, if, if you go to my website, www.stephenthompsonbooks.com, I have some free resources on, um, anger management, uh, things on uh, dealing with microaggression in the workplace. And um, so that really started the path to entrepreneurship, life coaching, and, and helping others. Okay, so that's kind of what inspired you to become an advocate for mental health. And Okay. Okay. But how, how do you incorporate that passion into your various roles? Well, um, well, it all starts with mental health, right? Mm-hmm. So um, if we're not clear of mind, um, and nothing we touch is going to ever last, right? So um, I, I basically deal with children, um, just dealing with issues and the trauma that they have in the house, um, uh, teaching them better communication skills, um, how to better express themselves. So that that's pretty much, you know, I speak on... Um, motivation, believing in yourself and um, things like that and how you start something you don't quit. Uh, make a promise to yourself. If you can keep a promise to yourself, then you can keep a promise to anybody. So it starts with yourself first. Okay. And we have to first um, identify uh, the trauma that we have and, and acknowledge it, right? Because anger, like any other emotion, is valid, right? So right. we have to 
we have to first acknowledge that. And then the first step is to forgive, right? Forgive ourselves and then forgive and, and, and move on. So from that, we go into just basically helping each other out and being more mindful, staying in the moment, um, breathing, taking a step back and um, actually taking everything in. So that's really how my, my entrepreneurship is. So I, I, I have uh, students that I coach. I have uh, teachers that I help to, mm-hmm. you know, better uh, effectively deal with each other and and just deal with problems that may arise. I'm also in uh, constant therapy. You know, I, I, I had a session today with a group of men. We have a therapy session every Saturday, and uh, we share each we share our weeks with each other. Uh, you know, what happened in the week? Uh, did you have any outbursts? Uh, were there any troubles? It's basically a men's support group. So um, that's pretty much my journey, just helping each other out, helping every, helping wherever I can, basically. Do you still uh, still deal with a lot of anger? You do. Well, absolutely. Oh, roll rage. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't? Like, oh my gosh, that's one of my. That's something you can't get around, right? Roll rage. But um, yeah, it's, it's a constant journey. It's a constant yeah. battle. Um, anger is just like love, you you know. So it's just how how do we deal with it, right? We have to respond with ability. So we have to response and then we have to be able to communicate how we're feeling because I tell a lot of my students that anger is just the tip of the iceberg, yeah. right? That's that's where, where it rises to. It, it, yeah. it formulates into anger, but there's deeper issues that that you might feel that you're not acknowledging, right? So, for instance, we might go to a number 10 you might get mad at a coworker or a student, but there's an underlying issue, right? When you look under the water, right, there's insecurities, uh, whatever the case may be. So if we stop, right, and, and we acknowledge, okay, I'm feeling this, but why am I feeling this, right? right. What, what is this What is this coming from, right? Because the smallest thing is set somebody off. And then it's like, ah. But if we take a step back and we, we start to think, say, okay, oh, wow, um, I'm feeling this emotion, right? What is the thought behind that emotion? And that's what we should deal with first. What's the thought and where do these thoughts come from? Right, so, right. You know, that's pretty much how we started off. Now, you you are also a business consultant, right? Right. What are some common challenges or obstacles you help clients overcome and what strategies do you typically recommend? Well, as far as business, when it comes um, down to business uh, engagement, how to um, target your your how to market to your target audience, how to define who your target audience is, um, how to basically customize a pro- product towards your target audience, right? Um, so, for example, I do books, mm-hmm. right? And um, so, if if we're talking about social media marketing. Facebook is geared to an older crowd, right? Most people might not know that. Facebook is probably geared to around a 35-year-old to a 60-year-old crowd, where uh, Instagram is a younger crowd, maybe from 18 to 25, and TikTok even younger. Yes. You know, so (laughs) we have to, right. We first need a product, right? A a good product. So um, that's the first step. Let's, let's, uh, Let's customize a product and then define the audience, right? And in creating your product, what do you want this product to, to do? Like it's every product I, t- I, I, I try to create is, is a tool used to help. Mm-hmm. So after the product is created, then you have to know your who and then your what, right? So what are we doing? Who are we doing it for? And then it's the why, right? Why are we doing this? Because if we're doing it just for money, it's not going to work out too much. Right, you know? right. So we have to have a genuine purpose in doing things. So that is the biggest challenge. I think one of the main reasons why a lot of, I'm not going to say businesses, but certain types of businesses are uh, kind of don't jump off like they should because of the fact that, okay, that's the main focus. Okay, well, how are we going to make money out of this? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? Um, and when you start, when you start off with, 
why you're doing it. You have a purpose behind it. And you, I, I feel like you pour more into yourself into it and all that, everything else will come. Right. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We just, most people are focused on money, money, money. And it's, right. money's not the only commodity that can right. be gained, right? You, you have a lot of things that can be gained and we have to look at the bigger picture, you know? So for instance, with, with, with the book, right? If you have a right message, that can branch off to more than just selling the book. Like I'm not going to get rich selling a $20 book. Right. I have to sell millions of copies. Mm -hmm. Right. So what I can do is I can um, turn my book into principles and strategies, right. Which helps in my consulting coaching business. Right. And then I also have public speaking engagements where I can take this and implement some things into the workplace and to the college campuses. And they, they, they call me to speak. So if you have the right why, right, and and you and you're purpose driven, and, and you genuinely want to serve people, then you'll do do much greater than trying to just take from people. The more you serve, the more you you'll get in return. Yeah, that's that's some good knowledge right there. That's some uh, good. Thank you. That's some good knowledge right there, brother. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> how, now you also you mentioned uh you know being a life coach and how do you approach life coaching and what specific areas do you focus on when helping individuals navigate their personal and professional lives well um i, I special in uh specialize in um anger management um mm -hmm. mental health right so but as far as life coaching goes on um, it's not just the anger right there's a lot of things that that come from anger right being able to communicate, right? Being able to have a one-on-one -on -one open dialect, um, no judgment zone, you know, being able to live in your truth um, and, and being able to stay in your truth, stay grounded and, and a lot of motivation, you know, because um, once you start in business, right, there's no quit, there's no stop, there's no fake check coming. Like this is the hardest thing you'll ever do. So a lot of people, I ask them, like, are you really committed to this? Because there's days I don't eat, you know, I have to feed people first. Well, and, and there's nights I don't sleep. I'm coming off for 26 hours now, you know. So I had therapy sessions. I had uh, a, a, a talk. I had a, a and I had a, a consulting gig all in the last 26 hours, you know. And then I have to watch my son go to football practice and basketball practice, right? So life, of course, life be life. Life be life. life. <laughs> you got to do all that. Right, and I got to do it again tomorrow. So it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and once I start pouring into other people, and, and, and I'm, I don't need the money. Like, I don't, I, that's not my thing to, to, to get paid uh, money. I need the money to eat. Don't get me right, wrong, right? right? But there's other ways you can. Get paid. Like, if I see you win, then I win automatically. Right. So that's that's my focus. I'm focused on helping each other win. I'm focused on um, building networks, communicating, um, expressing, you know. Um, put it in a book. You know, uh, a lot of people, I, I, hey, put it in a book. Write it down. Journaling. A lot of things can help us through it. So that's my whole life coaching thing summed up in a nutshell. Just pouring into other people. Well, you know, when you do good for other people, God, God definitely honors that, and He will bless you more because you're not thinking of yourself; you're thinking of others, and you're looking to bless them. So, definitely um, keep doing what you're doing because you you you're doing really some good things. You know. Well, are you able to share some success stories or moments from your work as a life coach or mentor? Oh yeah, I have um I have a couple students who well, I've I've made it to Amazon top bestseller, right? Um, mm. I have a couple students where I, I've I've showed them the process, right? They're they're finishing their books up. Um, I have one student he he made it to top ten in three categories on Amazon. Um, I don't know. I have a. Uh, a guy who went from being like a, a school custodian, right? And now he owns his own store, right? And all uh, that. It's all because it's like everything's possible. Right. You just have to believe in yourself, trust in God. And if you trust in God, everything's going to work itself out, right? 
That's the man inside, right? Stop listening to yourself and start listening to God. Stop asking people questions and ask God. So once you do that, he's going to give you all the answers you need. And whatever direction you think you're going, he's going to put you in the right direction. Right. And if so, you're not, and, and let me tell you, if you're not on the right direction, he's going to make it so that you get on that right direction. So we, he's going, you know, he's going to make that path. He's going to make that crooked path straight. So with a, absolutely. Anna, you know, you're going to be on that right direction. You know, that that's great. Um, In terms of personal professional growth, are there any particular areas or skills that you believe are especially important? for individuals to focus on in today's like fast changing world because you know we're constantly moving absolutely um first thing is clear and effective communication it changes everything Mm -hmm. right it changes even with your marketing right you have to effectively communicate what you're doing what you want done right and to to build these relationships we have to be able to articulate our thoughts and our processes to each other. So that's the first thing, um, communication. Mm-hmm. Um, and then to be able to express yourself positively, right? And that's that's extra huge, right? And um, to believe in yourself, believe in yourself um, and, and develop a worth ethic, right? Um, I'm not saying go out here and work 12 hours a day. You know, I'm not saying quit your day job yet. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying... If we can get 1% better every day, right. then that's a lot. Like, so make a list, write it down, write everything down, write what you want down, um, write where you want to go, uh, where you want to live, what kind of car you want to drive, and, and, and put that picture in your head and keep it there, right? And, and, and But your why has to be stronger than everything, right? So my why is my, my children. So if, if, if I fell financially, Right. The one thing that they'll get is that I didn't have I had the courage to keep going. I had the courage to start. And once you start the thing, you have to have the courage to see it through. So what I want is what I want my kids to take away from it. That's why I put it on in books, too. So when I'm gone, they can still read and they can still get get that knowledge. But I want them to have the work ethic and and the drive to actually start something and not be afraid because people will tell you you're crazy, especially the background I come from. You know, you writing books, you know how you, you start. Once you start growing, a lot of people is going to fade, you know? People right. are going to come into your life and people are going to leave out of your life, right? Mm-hmm. But right. that's God's plan. That's that's You have nothing to do with that, right? All you got to do is stay faithful, you know, stay, keep your, keep your nose to the grindstone and he's going to give you who he, who you need to have. And he's going to take away who's not supposed to be there. So. But I believe in reason, season and lifetime. There are people in your life for a reason, then there's Mm -hmm. people in your life for a season and then there's people in your life for a lifetime. And we got to know which category they fit into. And Mm -hmm. we don't get it right. Trust me, God's going to get it right. He's going to move those people out of your life, you know. Or you, you, eventually, your eyes will open and you'll see it, you know. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be, you want to be around like-minded people, you know. Absolutely. Who are, who have the same goals or the same um, it's, uh, inspiration and, 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 and ambition as you, you know. Yes. Why would you want to be around someone who doesn't? Right. Because then, you you know. One either one or one thing or the other is gonna rub off. Either their their bad habits are gonna rub off on you, right? Right. You you or hopefully you're you're gonna rub off on them. But um, definitely, uh, I I you know it's it's very important. And one of the things I I'm I'm co- I'm constantly writing my stuff down. Actually, I, before I, before you came on, I have my my little book here. Going to absolutely growing and glowing. Absolutely. Right. Everything, you know, everything in this book because Absolutely. it's it's important to, you know, uh, what's the saying the word? You have a vision. When you have a vision, write it down. So you Absolutely. can Absolutely. You know. Um if you don't create the life that you want, somebody's gonna create it for you. Exactly. So I'd exactly. rather be in control of my own life than right. to have all of these environmental factors and, and things influencing me you know because there's a lot of influences out here that we're not even aware of sometimes the stresses of work the the guy is too slow in front of you right you got so let it go and i'm I'm always i'm the type of person that i you know i'm like okay 
what time now to be there? Okay, well, I'll, I'll be there, maybe. You got to tell me. If you want me there or at 4 o'clock, you got to tell me it has. I got to be there by 3.30. Absolutely. And then I'm wasted. I'm like, oh, come on, you know, because I'm always behind the slowest person. No, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Whenever you need to get there, right? I got somewhere to go. This person is just cruising along. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and I'm supposed to be an anger management guy. And it's like, all right. Yeah, oh, that's it. With that, and, and that's how you that's how you learn to control yourself. I think that's like one of the best things. When you sit in the car and you know you gotta be somewhere and you, and you just Oh my goodness. Um, let me ask you this. How do you stay motivated and inspired in your own life? And what practices or habits do you cultivate to maintain your well being? Exercise as soon as I wake up in the morning. Mm-hmm. I do Sally push ups. If you look it up on YouTube, it's very hard. Uh, uh, Sally, the Sally push up challenge. I do that every morning, mm-hmm. at least twice a day, right? Um, okay. at, be- before I start, I got I to gotta thank the man upstairs for right. me up. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I listen to a lot of motivation myself. Um, I try to get as much knowledge in my head as possible, right? Because I, I have limited space up there. So I try to fill it with, with as much valuable information that I can, right? So instead of listening to the radio, I might listen, you know, if I'm driving or something. But I most of the time, I, I'm on a podcast or right. getting some marketing advice or how to do a new skill or, you know, how to uh, effectively convey a message across how to speak better so i always tell people uh the biggest room in the world is room for improvement and we can always use improvement so one percent is my goal every day i'm trying to learn something new i'm trying to add something that i didn't have to the repertoire and that keeps me motivated because it's like oh wow when i look back at my day it's like i could have done this better or i could have spoken to this person better or i could have relayed a message better or I could have gave a, a little better advice, you know, because when I'm giving advice, I try not to give advice from my point of view. Mm-hmm. Try to just, you know, give information and you take it and, and you do with it what you want to do with it. But I but I don't want to be selfish, if I could say that. I don't want to be selfish where I'm telling you what I would do mm-hmm. because what I would do and what you would do, we know that's two different things. Right, right. And that only comes from communicating and, and being able to, being your authentic self, you know, being able to walk in your authentic self and being able to tell your story the way it's supposed to be told. And I can't tell your story for you. You know, I can maybe give you some tips and, and some some little streamlining tricks or something like that. But your truth has to be your truth. So right, that's how I, I stay motivated because, you know, I, I, I go through things all the time. Like, and I deal with anger all the time. Like a lot of things, you'd be surprised at how many things can can tick you off. And it's like I have to be um, very mindful and, and stay in the present moment because we're not going to get this back. This is it. After we speak again, we might speak a- again, but this moment right here, this is this is a once in a lifetime moment. And if you treat every relationship every moment like that, then you, you'll find out how special it is. You know, this is a very special thing. It's spiritual. Like, like I had a, a talk with a guy before and I said, we did this probably millions of years ago. Right. Because I don't believe the spirit dies. Right. We, everybody talks about frequencies. Right. So if the TV breaks, right. Channel five still, still work. Your TV just doesn't work. Right. <laughs> So you get another TV, right? So we 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 probably did this millions of times before oh, with it, different TV it. sets, you know. Listen, you sound like my brother. She's <laughs> right. That's a whole other sort of thing. We we do on the same. You see, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So yeah. I believe in getting that. That you know, um, I believe in positive energy. You know, I I, I believe in. Listen to your gut, right? If, if if your gut is telling you there's something not kosher, listen, you know, stay aware, you know? So just staying present in the moment every day and, and just taking each breath like it's your last. And you watch how your, your life will definitely change because you don't get these moments back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're always living in the future. The well, past is past. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, that's the way it is, uh, Time is something that you you never get back. 
you know, when that's it's very important. And people don't don't realize that, you know. Um, are there any new projects or initiatives you're currently working on, or that uh, and, you know that aim to make a positive impact in the lives of others? Well, I'm always writing books. Um, I have another book coming out. It's called Navigating the Seven Illusions of Life. So one illusion, right, that we all, it's perception, right? So the way you see something, the way I see something is totally different. We can look at the same thing. So if if we keep that in mind, um, then we can actually see where a lot of influence comes from and, and what kind of triggers our thought patterns and um, what what makes us react and act the way we act, you know? So um, that I have a book, another book coming out. Um, I'm finishing up my degree, <laughs> you know? Um, uh, uh, my son is on his way to high school, so <laughs> that's a job in itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he, he, he's fighting with me with school, um, and I'm so I, I'm setting him up. Well, I said, you know, these, these next four years are, the most important years of your life. So um, if you're not going to go to college, then we have to figure out a plan because he wants to be this superstar athlete. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there's 7 million applicants and 7,000 jobs. So let's not put all our eggs in one basket. And and that's a very hard life, like sports. Just just being a sports dad is very hard for me, like to make you make Bring them to Why practice. Sports, try being a sport. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> right? Getting them to practice, getting them to the game, you know, uh, washing the clothes. And, <laughs> oh, my gosh, making sure they do That's That's a full-time job, and I yeah. commend you on that. It's a, definitely a full-time job. And so um, that's a lot of my work. I, I'm constantly writing. Um, I have a blog. Um, again, if they go to my website, www.steventhompsonbooks.com, I have a blog. Um, with some free resources, uh, microaggression in the workplace. Uh, I help teachers out, uh, you know, the subtleties of microaggression. You know, I help them cope with that stuff because I've dealt with it in my workplace. Um, and just trying to be be an advocate for, for, the, for the youth because a lot of us as adults, we're, we're already stuck in our ways. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to try to change someone's mind. And the hardest thing to do is learn something when you know everything. So I, I try to focus on kids, you know, not to be, you know, do it, do it, do this. No, it's just like, just get the information, get the information and, and you decide if it's useful or not. But if you don't have the information, then you're doomed. Mm -hmm. So just, just, just open yourself up, stay open-minded, close your mind to some things, right? There's a lot of influences out here, you know, um, close your mind to some of those things. Keep keep open to the information and 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 make your plan now, right? I, I started my plan late in life. You know, I'm almost fifty, so I started my plan late in life. Um, if if I can get him to start now, you know, while he's thirteen on the way to to high school, and by the time I told him, by the time you're eighteen, you you should be able to make your own decision. Well, am I going to go to college? If if we do the the things right in business. You have enough money to decide where you want to go, and you won't be limited. So I, I was limited. I had to do what I had to do. You, you get what I'm saying? I had to stop. I had to start. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to put him on the right path, and um, I'm just trying to be an example. You know, if 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 I can keep continue to grow, then hey, what what you know? Everybody around me. I don't want to be the smartest person in the room, so I try to get out of the room if I'm the smartest person. I never want to be. <laughs> I don't want people looking up to me like, hey, what, what's next? Like, oh, no, let me get out of this room. <laughs> you get what I'm See that thing, you know. Yeah, that's, that's... Well, well, you're doing an, a, a really good job. You know, um, you are amazing in what you're doing and yeah. helping others. Um, so are you. Thank you. So are you. What advice would you give to someone who is interested in pursuing their passions and creating creating a career similar to yours? Well, you got to start. That's the first thing. Start, right? And when I started, I didn't know. I didn't know where I was going. I just knew I wanted to do something. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I always knew I, I could write, you know. Um, what First, take an assessment of what are your skills, what are your strengths, and what are your weaknesses, right? Um, turn your weaknesses into your strengths, right? And um, like if somebody comes to you for advice all the time, 
hey, turn that into a, a skill, right? That's a skill to be able to give give somebody good sound advice and, and, and educate yourself, right? Everything starts with education and awareness. So start educating yourself and, and start. And as you start, right? And, and if it's for you, Nobody can take that away. So start, don't stop, and, and and just know it's hard. You know, don't think it's an easy cake cakewalk. Like I'm gonna start it and I'm gonna just make all of this money, and the money it'll come. Yeah, but it might not come right away. So have your plan, right? Write down your plan and and then take it to God. Because <laughs> once you take it to God, it's probably gonna get ripped up. <laughs> <laughs> You know what they say, you want to make God laugh, just show him your plans. Show right? him your plan. <laughs> Not at <laughs> all. No, I even say, oh, this is what you thought you were going to Oh, you're going that way, right? Okay, <laughs> let me show you which way you're really going. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, take it to God and leave it in his hands, you know? My, my, my sister is my superhero, and she tells me all the time, she said, you, you pay him to do what? You ask, you pay to ask this person to for you better take it to God and ask God, and mm-hmm. and the, the answer comes. And I'm and I'm serious about that. Mm-hmm. Like I, I asked him the other day to remove some people out of my life, and he removed those people. The the not the people I thought he would remove. Yeah, some totally different people. And it's like, oh wow, I get it now. You know, I get it. Just have faith in yourself, man. Believe in yourself. Believe in something. There's a bigger picture than just me and you, right? This this conversation here, if it helps one person, then we did our job. And that's and and, and that's what I'm hoping. You know, if it's if it's just one person, I'd be happy if it helps two. But if it's one person, it's then, your job. And that's 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 you know you, that's what we need more people to do to to get out and try and help and inspire and let people know that okay, you had a bad day. It's going to happen. God did not promise us that we were not going to have trouble, but he promised that he would help us get through it. Absolutely. And and, and that's something he does. And you're going to have a bad day. Learn from those mistakes and move on. You can't dwell on that. You cannot dwell on that. I, I'm a believer in that mistakes will make you stronger. They will make you better. And you, yes. you will learn. Absolutely. I don't know who said you learn from your mistakes, and you do learn from your mistakes. That's the data that you need to correct yourself, right? Yeah. If, you, if you never made a mistake, if if nobody pulls your coat tail and say, listen, I think you could have did this a little different, right? If you're not the type of person that's open to suggestion, that's looking to improve, then life is going to be hard. Right. I had to learn that the hard way a lot. Like, it's like, I thought I knew everything, you know? And it's like... No, that's not how it went, or it, or it would have turned out way more better than it did, you know? Right, so, right. So, and, and, and if we learn, right, learning is a continuous process. It's continual. Like, it's nonstop, right? There's an infinite world out here, right? Mm-hmm. And we done went from, I, I started out with, I'm about to tell my age, beepers to the to the big box cell phone, you know, to the Commodore 64. <laughs> Yeah, and now everything's on the phone. You know, it's like, oh my God, you're in the phone. Like, what? So we've come a long way in just the last 20 or 30 years. So just imagine how far we can go, you know? But uh, a lot of people are stuck in their ways, and, and that's the hardest thing to overcome. Trying to help someone who, who knows everything. I don't know everything. I'm just trying to help. And and I get it. I I I learn things from people who think they don't know any. Right. Like, what do you mean? You? Those are the best teachers. Absolutely. Life experience is life experience. You yeah. know. And, and there's no substitute from that. You know. So just just staying open in the moment and and just just being receptive and and, and just looking at opportunities for what they are. Right. And just because you're having a bad day, don't make somebody else have a bad day. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's just you know it, it's. And it's not that bad, because when I look back on it, some of the things that that I remember actually didn't happen that way. You know, <laughs> but we like, went in our head. It's like, oh, but in my head, it was like, no, I thought, and it's like, no, it didn't happen like that. <laughs> that was just you magnifying a situation that maybe you didn't understand at the time, or you weren't willing to understand. But 
And it wasn't that bad because you're still here. You're still here. You're still here. So how bad could it have been if if you get to do it tomorrow and, and try it all over again and try to yeah. get it right? So you're still here. And, and and if you're here, if you wake up in the morning, you win it. And that's funny. 50% of the battle is waking up. That's right. People didn't wake up this morning. Uh, Regardless yeah. of how they woke up, you woke up. So woke you got up. a chance to, now, to change. Yeah. And that, and that, Absolutely. That's, that's, that's amazing. Lastly, what are you yeah. grateful for? Oh, man, I'm I'm grateful for this conversation, right? I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful to be in the moment. I'm grateful just to be here, right? I'm grateful to have the opportunity to broaden my horizons and, and, and to, to, to improve myself, right? Because if I improve myself, then, then everything else around me improves. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful just to be in a mind frame of, of knowing that there's a God, you know what I'm saying? Understanding like, wow, there's some some situations where you might not should have been here. You you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're still here. So take that time to to reflect and, and, and to give thanks. I'm grateful to be able to, to give thanks and, and to be able to meet someone like you and and, and meet people on the same thought wave and, and, and on the same path in life just, just to serve. I'm, I'm just grateful to serve. Well, I thank you. And I, I'm grateful to meet you. I thank, I, I thank, thank you. you so much for uh, joining me today. I thank you for the work that you're doing and the work that you can, you continually do. Thank you. Um, again, what's the name of your book that's, that's out? Please let, let my, my audience know. Uh, it's not my angry part. My angry heart, a simple guide to healing from within. Some okay. tips and strategies to help you get that stuff out of your heart, man. Yeah. Change your thought process. Please get get Stephen Thompson's book. Uh he, it's it's on his website. And I'm now I'm glad you said it so many times. I remember it. It's w- yeah. <laughs> Thompson dot com. Right? Absolutely, yeah. And you can get it on his website and you can get it on Amazon, right? Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, all of that. Yes, ma'am. Steven, thank you so much. And I hope this will not be the last time I have you on my podcast. We because we I definitely want to have you on to talk about some other things. Absolutely. And okay. uh, thank you so much for thank having you. Me. Thank you very much. Join me next time where I will continue to discuss more of today's issues. You can hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube or email me at sheilas-take at outlook.com for topics you would like to discuss or if you would like to be a guest on Sheila's Take. I am your host, Sheila Dunbar. Blessings to you.